When neighbor Scott Schweitzer walked outside to find this scene. It was disbelief, it hurt, um, actually teared up a little bit about it. He was horrified by the vandalism scrawled across a display meant to welcome the LGBTQ community, a community he is part of. He immediately took action, grabbing paint, brushes, family and friends to erase the hateful words. Me, I just wanted to get rid of it right away so nobody else had to come by and see it. Nobody that might be struggling with their own identity. Among those helping were Schweitzer's young nieces and nephews. He says for them, it's a teachable moment. There's probably a lot of lessons here, not to hate and just to love, and love always wins. It's really cool to see all of the support so so quickly and, and so much of it. Emily Stott is a secretary at the church. She was also shocked by what happened. I was uh, pretty disturbed. Um, I am, you know, a queer person, so it was also very scary for me to see that. She's heartened by the community's response and hopes the church's message of acceptance is even louder now. We don't put these symbols out for ourselves. We do it for other people so they can know that we really do love them and we love everyone. Um, and we're going to keep doing that.